everyone and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I have a really exciting video which is I am going to be creating a Maple Lee slash American Girl outfit from baby clothes. Now I've done a, another version of this video before and a lot of people uh, were really impressed by that video on how I turned a baby dress into a outfit for 18 inch dolls. And I was at the thrift store today and I found two outfits um, that I'm going to be turning um, into clothes for these two Maple Leaf girls here. And the reason I chose the Maple Leaf girls, um, I'll show you the dress and then I'll explain. So the first outfit I got was this green dress. Now this green dress, the reason I got it was because it reminded me of a dress from Maple Lee that was released a long time ago called Apple of My Eye and I really like that dress and I was literally just thinking like two days ago how much I wanted that green dress, that green fancy dress and maybe this is like manifestation law of attraction like I talk about on my channel sometimes because I found this dress and it's very similar. I'll show a photo of what the apple of my eye looks like and as you can see it's almost the exact same shade of green. It's not the same pattern or print but it's pretty close and I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to turn this into an 18 inch doll outfit and this was only $6.49. And when I saw this dress I also saw this pink one over here and it has a little bit of green so they almost like match each other so I thought the, the green, one would be, green one would be very good for Taryn and then the pink one because Clara is like my girly girl in my collection. She loves, you know, dance and ballet and just super girly things and I always dress her up very girly so she could get the pink one. So these are like really nice spring Easter dresses. That's what my first thought was like for Easter. So I have a lot of Christmas dresses but I don't have any like fancy dresses that are not Christmassy. So um, this will be good to expand my collection because I love fancy dresses so much. That's like my favorite part of doll collecting is when I can dress them in very fancy dresses. So some tips that I have when you're looking for baby clothes to turn into doll clothes, always look for the smallest size available. This one is three to th or zero to three months, so it's probably going to fit a little bit better, probably less adjusting than this one, which is three to six months. I wouldn't go anything past the three to six months um, um, size. I wouldn't go past that, so this would be the biggest dress that I would buy. Um, you could buy other ones, it's just more modifications and I don't know if I'd be that skilled. But it is possible, so if you're more skilled than me, maybe you can get a bigger size. But for these ones, I always pick the size smallest, so this is zero to three months, this is three to six months in baby clothes. So this one cost me, I believe, $5.99. But if you think about it, that's much cheaper than buying a full outfit. And also, it's kind of like upcycling like it's recycling so these are at a thrift store this one still kind of has evidence of its a tag so it hasn't even been worn yet so um, you know very you know almost like good for the environment to recycle things and make it new so you can have some new outfits for your dolls for a more affordable price and also um good for the environment so here is what the outfits look like without any alterations. Now it's always like very important if you're going to modify baby clothes to fit 18 inch dolls, make sure that you try it on the doll first because sometimes you can put things on the dolls and they fit perfectly or they fit the way that you want them to fit so you don't have to do any sewing or cutting or anything like that. These are pretty good so maybe if you weren't too particular or if you had a child or something like that, then maybe you wouldn't alter these depending, like this is was pretty easy to get on, so maybe changing it would make it harder to put on. Um, but I do think it looks a little bit loose. And this one, it looks pretty cool with like this off the shoulder kind of thing, but I think it just hangs a little bit low. It just looks a little bit weird. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip the shoulders in and raise the shoulders a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna sew in the sides just so it fits around the waist better. Now, both of these dresses have ties at the side, so you can just um, make it kind of really tight. I'll, sh I'll flip them around and show you what I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like on the back. As you can see, these kind of ribbons are tied back and I tied it pretty tight. So there is a lot of excess fabric, as you can see. So we're gonna try to get rid of some of that by pinching the sides in and with Taryn's dress, especially lifting it up a little bit in the shoulders. And I think I might do that with Clara's dress as well. So here is what the dresses look like, how I pin them. So I put them inside out and then I put some pins where the sleeves are, just, you know, closing the sleeves a little bit and then at the sides just clipping it in just so it's a little bit smaller. 
So here's what the two dolls look like. So I flipped the outfits back um, to the right sides. They still have the pins, as you can kind of see right there. They still have the pins in them. So just put it on your doll very careful, not to scratch the vinyl or put any tears in their soft body. Um, but as you can see, Clara's dress, I'm happy with it. As you can see when you do these alterations and you pick it up on the shoulders a little bit, um, as you can see there, so it's still just kind of clipped in there. It does raise the dress a little bit, so that's something to keep in mind when you do pinch it up here. It raises the dress, so it's a little bit shorter. Uh, but I do actually really like the length of this, and I feel like it fits really well. So I'm going to leave the alterations like this. With Taryn, I feel like she still needs a little bit of work in the shoulders and in the sides, and I'm going to keep... Um, taking it off and putting it back on, readjusting the pins until it looks the way I want it to. So I just kept readjusting Taryn's outfits. I just pinched it more in the sides and pinched it more in the sleeves up until I got to a place where I liked um, how the dress fit. So there's no right or wrong way to do these adjustments. So if you want it to be a little bit more loose, if you want it to be a little bit tighter, if you want it to look a certain way, then that's all up to you. There's no proper way to do it in my opinion so just keep doing it until it looks good to you and based on your doll because all 18 inch dolls are different so different brands look different on different dolls so first off please ignore this mess it's it's bad i know there's like garbage in there it's a mess i'm really busy right now um so but i'm too excited to create these outfits that I, I, don't, I don't want to clean it up, I just want to get this done because I am so excited to see what they're going to look like. So anyways, you're going to turn on your sewing machine and, you know, if it's going to take like two seconds, like the most that this is going to take you is probably like 15 minutes, maybe half an hour if you take your time and do it really slow um, when you include like sizing it and pinning it up and all that. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is, I always forget to do this. This is why I'm reminding you. I mean, maybe y'all are better than me and you remember to do this, but make sure to cut off all these extra strings so you don't have like strings coming out of the outfit. Um, I don't have my scissors on me right now, but I will do that at the very end um, after I sew the second outfit too. You can also cut off these tags too. I've thought about doing that. Um, as you can see, it says size zero to three months so that's probably why this one needed less alterations than the green one because the green one's three to six months this is zero to three months so I always try to go with the smallest because um, sometimes you don't even need to do alterations sometimes I think oh I'm gonna need to alter this when I get home and I get home and it fits perfectly so and then I don't make a video on it because there's there's no reason to make a video um, so I'm going to move on to the green one now And just like that, we're all done. So we're just gonna flip this around and then we're gonna try it on the dolls to see how it looks. So as you can see, maybe I'm not, oh, okay. I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit. As you can see, you kinda can't tell that he even made alterations. If you do it right, it doesn't look like you altered it or anything. Um, I'm not the perfect, I just started sewing during the pandemic, so I'm not a complete expert or anything. So here's what the dolls look like in their new outfits. So here's a close-up of Taryn's outfit. So I just put her hair in this ponytail with a matching green ribbon a hair clip. And then just this is what the dress here. Very glam, almost like award show, movie premiere type outfit. So that's really cool. Very nice green. I really love this color. So this would be a really good, like, you know, Easter dress or like if you like dressing your dolls like movie stars then this is definitely a good outfit for that and then we have Clara over here who has you know the pink dress so very Easter um, I just put some matching shoes from American Girl there so I love how there's a little bit of green in her pink outfit so they're kind of like matching so if you take photos together they kind of have this 
matching thing going on so very very cute so i love upcycling baby clothes because it's very good for the environment and it's budget friendly and it's very very easy to to, to do compared to making like a full dress from scratch and you can get some pretty nice designs and a lot of times the outfits are you know brand new and they still have the tags on on them so um yeah, so I really highly recommend this if you want something simple to do, but to have more outfits in your doll collection. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more doll collecting videos and follow my Instagram, and I will see you all next time. <music>